Okay, YouTubers, um, I fixed the hot star problem with my Hayabusa. After about eight or nine months of owning it and having a pop start everywhere I went, I figured I would tell you guys because nobody gave me the right answer. Everybody starts saying something about the battery or your starter or your starter relay or your starter clutch. So check it, I'll show you where it's at. If you have a hard start problem and it sounds like a bird caulking or whatever, that means the starter's turning, but something's binding up. So I'll show you where mine was binding up. Okay, so here's the bike. Here's the right hand side. Here's where the starter comes out without the plastics on right there. That's your starter with the cover off. With this cover off, you're gonna see this inside. And on the inside of that, this idler gear comes off of, and it might have a, a wave washer in between it. A wave washer is a washer that comes up in waves, so it doesn't have all points contacted at, at, at the same time. So um, when you take this off, this steel pin, I put grease on mine, that's why it's staying, but this steel pin should not walk around like this shit. I don't know if you guys can see, but look how. It should be totally tight. Now I just got all new gears for this. This is called the starter clutch right here. This goes down right behind here and it goes one way. It turns one way, but it won't turn the other way. That way when the motor's running, it'll let it slide and spin without turning all the other shit. And this uh, this idler gear, this is from a 2003 up. In between those teeth, it has uh, clutch discs. In case the compression from the motor turns backwards, it won't ruin everything up in the starter part. So anyway, what I found out was this part inside of the, the housing cover was very loose and sloppy. And there's too many people talking about hot start problems to think that this is just an accident that mine had it. I think it was a bad mold in the first place. And there's no recall done because that costs a lot of money, right? Just let the guys deal with it. But it'll spin freely, but if you put it up at an angle, like pushing on it with my thumb, it will not turn. So that causes a binding. The gears bind and it won't let it turn all the way through and turn the starter clutch to turn the crank. So that's most likely where the problem is. I've heard of other people talking about um, there was corrosion in there and everything. Mine was totally clean and oiled up and everything. So I went looking elsewhere. I spent a lot of money elsewhere. Started relays. Um, I, almost, I was about ready to do a harness, dude. But anyway, let me know if this helped you guys out. Let me know what your experience was and um, ask me any questions you want. I'll be a little more in detail with it. All right, thanks guys, have a good one.